it's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. The evidence and testimony we have seen and heard are conclusive. The victim was alone at his table when he drank from that poison cup of coffee. No, you're wrong. I know what I saw. I saw. I, I saw. I saw someone else there! A man! He's a real killer! As defendant guilty. This court is a job. Shot today. Detective Gumshoe? Happy New Year, Detective! Uh, likewise! Now listen up, Bright! I wanna finish another fruit for you of loyal police cooperation! Uh, yeah, me too. Alright, pal, you got some explaining to. You got a holiday present for me, Detective? What? Because <laughs> I must it. That's like my first breakfast joke of the year. Very funny, pal. Now let's see how funny you think it is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? Hey, I want to see. Deadly poisoning? Bruce guilty about it? The French attorney White Trouts? Trouts? Let me see that. Gave an almost childishly amateur performance yesterday. What the heck is this? It's a poor pal about you! Listen to this. This threat must take full responsibility for the wound in this case. Well, and don't tell me you don't remember anything about it! But I don't remember anything about it! Where was that issue from anyway? Except uh, last year, which I guess makes it last month. Was a father that poisoned the case of the step on? Do you think this is all about, Nick? What's it wasn't you, pal. And that leaves only one possibility. No way. You don't mean. a. F a phony Nick? This must be Gumption's idea of a joke. Is he sending off to you with one, too? So, what are you going to do about it, pal? What do you mean, what am I going to do about it? Well, it's your fault that the judge found the defendant guilty in this case. My fault? How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is super famous now. 
maybe only soda. Right? Yes! See what happens when you hot shot start getting too full of yourselves? But I didn't do anything wrong. At least not that I can remember. You better make this right, pal. Now! That means taking the case back to court, got it? Sounds like we've got our first case of the new year. Let's check it with Getzo. I don't know, the judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not be easy to get it over taunt. I guess that New Year's Day's Christmas will have to wait next year. So you're taking the case, right? Good! I'm gonna head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay, pal? I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. I'm not interested in a case to me based on my reputation. I guess I am kind of responsible. Why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of a guy would do that? to meet our new clients. I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. Keep it down, Maya! That kind of talk could ruin me! Ah! How could you, Mr. White? How could you do this to me? You're being solitary. I haven't been able to stop crying. Uh, aren't you? Yes, I am! I'm totally and utterly let down! Uh, you... Oh, you? Don't pretend you don't know me. It's me, Maggie. Remember, Maggie Bud? Maggie Bud? Ah! Maggie Bud. She's the police woman I defended that one time. She was accused of murder of her lover. He was a cop too. What are you doing in here? Did I get you? Oh, sure, very funny. After that fifth rate defense, are you coming here and start making jokes? You gotta hold up and tell what happened, Nick. Oh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. I remember her saying the exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. What's one little more disaster in my life? At least now the real Mr. Wright is here with me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. So, how come you're dressed like that, Maggie? I said you look so sharp in that police uniform. I was fired after that incident last year. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. So what do you do now? In the second act of the life of Maggie Bud, I'm playing the role of a waitress. A waitress? Yes, a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My tongue smiles. The awfully figure come through for me. And the owner of Mr. Armstrong hired me straight away, sir. And then you got into the mess mess straight away, right? Yeah, you could put that way. This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. It happened at Tress Bane. Tress Bane? I'm calling it Tress Bane. Tress Bane, that's what we're calling it, okay? Trust beyond? Yes, it's a restaurant with good service and a funny smile are always included. Oh. There were two men at the table both drinking coffee. And then... The 
Welcome to this one seven was gas for fire. I was so shocked I passed out. Hey, hold on there, Maggie. What? You keep calling that guy the victim? Didn't you know the guy who was killed? Not at all. I never ever seen him the guy before. Oh. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then, I guess. And the other man, the killer, you saw him, right? Of course! The good waitress must be attempted to the clientele! So, you saw the killer, but you found guilty of the crime anyway, how come? You tell me, Mr. White! Ugh, guess the answer to my question is my phony. Anyway, she saw the killer. Let's see if I can get a description of the guy. So if you saw the model, why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw. Saw what? The other man. The one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everyone. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. How's that possible? I don't know. Nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. So. In Phoenix White, my one night of a fair trial failed me. Well, perfect defense! My granny could have done a better job! Look! That wasn't me, okay? And then... I found someone been incriminating my apron pocket. What? A poison. What? Poison? It was in your pocket? Well, oh, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The victim must have slipped the poison to my pocket when I was unconscious. And no one else saw this other guy? No one saw. That's what everyone said, but I don't see how they could have missed him. who took the coffee to the two men. Oh, and what was your impression of them? Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be in the music industry. In music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about him. And there was a sample CD on the table, saw. An earpiece? And a sample CD, huh? Did you get a good look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. It was the band for the debut, I guess. So it was a band CD. And a promo disc? And it was an MC Screwdriver. Get serious, Maya. Why would you buy the CD of a group named that? What was the name of that group again? MC Hacksaw? No. MC. What about the killer? What did he look like? Well, I, uh, I really don't remember. I remember that he was a young man, well built like the victim, really. Oh yeah, I hate to ask you about this. Hey, it's all because about my case. Can you tell me anything about the guy who was pretending to be me? Yes, sir. It was the morning after I'd been arrested. I met you in the business room here. You were wearing one of your super soft suits. I'm gonna get you clear on uh, this crime, you said. I 
Okay, I get the picks up. You let me post it before. How come you didn't realize that guy wasn't a real me? I guess, looking back now, it was a little strange. Possible to get a wee trial? Probably. The court would in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a wee trial. Uh, Mr. White. Do you think we'll win next time? Sir? My life has been a full course of bad luck, complete with defeat for the Zart. Since I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods. I've had almost every test I've taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I even ended up finding a lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused of murder. But I will survive because Maggie Boat always lives to fight another day. And one day I'll find it. Just you wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment of good luck. Alright, X Up is really gonna pay for this. What are you staring at me like that for? But mine is right. Whoever it is that thought I was ready to choose my name. Okay, an instant girl convicted of murder had better watch out. We'll find him. Don't you worry. We'll get in the hip hop for you. Thank you. I'll tell you what chess buying chess bin is then. Chess alright. What's wrong with the monitor class? Yes, sir! When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi! So, alright, Nick, let's go check out this restaurant and it's food! supposed to be. This paper is from December 3rd. The paper is from the day of the poisoning. What? 
The victim! You're right! The victim left this behind on the day of the murder, huh? I think you better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? To let Tres be in. Oh, ha. Oh. What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff.
what this chest bin means? Yes, chest, that means three, right? No, 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 chest bin is fancy. I think this would sound very good. Tables, I asked. I'm not the only one. The old man said the same thing. Old oh, man? What old man? Take 
Where's the put my bellonas? Something like what? What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? Let's ask this guy for more info. Stop! from thin air. What? I can see a cyclox. And that means the magatom is nearby. Got a vitamin square. Thank you. <laughs> the voice little prayer, my dear. Let's go check out this vitamin square right now, Nick. So this is Vitamin Square? Yeah, I see where they get the name from now. The food scream vitamins at you. Hey, Nick. That's the guy, right? Isn't that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? That grouchy looking grandpa? He's throwing seeds out for the pigeons. My eye, he's not throwing seeds for them. He's throwing seeds at them. Checking those seeds, um, it's got to hot. Go on, 
しんです I don't know French. I, I cannot do this. Yes. Are you looking for a bird? What? No, 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 no. I was just. Let me see. Besides, a pretty man, but you have a good face. Feel bad for Maya. Maybe I should do both. Looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess I've asked her pretty much everything. I'll come back if there's anything else I need to ask her later. Well, whatever you need to know, I'll give you the dirt on it. I'm putting up all my other cases for now, pal. Something really fired up about this. Oh, yeah, one more thing. The B tries to approve. Could sing at 10 a.m. tomorrow. You know who's gonna be the prosecutor? Oh. Him. Quick and for a second. Here's a question. Why wasn't Godot the prosecutor during the last trial? Now, listen up, pal! Maggie's found guilty again! Yes? Uh, ow! I'll make sure you get locked up good for it! Got it? So the guilty party was Maggie Bond, huh? Yeah. Boss, you were on that show, she was a rookie, right? Yeah, keep the first eye on her. I mean, not too close, you know. Hey, what's with the funny looks, pal? I was just, so, it wasn't anything like. Look. So I was her boss when she was doing her training. That was it? Nothing happened. I'm just sort of setting up a storm over nothing. Ah, uh, so that's it. Our old big old gumsu has a little fuss on Maggie. I, I don't like her or anything. I, I was. Ah! So, let's put Maya about this later. Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You better keep it a secret, got it? So, you might know, not guess like, what I've been thinking all the time. Hey, tell your face, pal, not me. You have to be blind to see what's on your mind. So, I was wondering, can you fill me in on the victim? Glenn Alec, he was a computer program. I see, a program. He was just a regular Joe working for a small time computer farm. Maggie never had any contact with Glenn before that day. And also, he was taking his coffee on the day of the murder, pal. Yeah, Maggie also claimed to have never seen the guy before. Some good to the restaurant often. But according to the chef, it was the first time we'd seen the guy. Oh my god. Of course I'm cussing on that. What possible reason could Maggie have had to kill a guy like that? That's what I thought. The motive was still somehow established in her trial. You're kidding. What was the supposed motive? Sorry, pal. I'm so busy. I ain't even got enough time to sift through these papers. Look into yourself, okay? 
motive. Have bed! This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it myself. Oh, that's right. The judge already ruled on the case and all the evidence is in already. The only problem is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah, this is sound really good for us, huh? Look, pal. I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over before tomorrow. So I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bird's no lie on. She's... She's... Okay, so she's a bit out there and a bit off base sometimes. But she was a good cop. It's not exactly comfort... Complimentary, you know. Blah. So what do you think really happened? Is how contradictory is her testimony. The biggest problem with Maggie's testimony is the number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Maggie Sarah insists there was another guy standing with the victim. Right? Forget this. Everyone else in the place says the guy was all alone. Even the chef. And then there's the CD. About a CD. There was a simple CD on the table saw. I guess so I gotta place something down. There was no CD! What? Not on the table, not anywhere in the whole restaurant, pal. Did Nike say the victim was wearing the earpiece too? Yeah, that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. Radio? He didn't have a CD player? Got it. Your phony never explained that contradiction at all. Think of it. What a Tristan had never invented that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. something here. Take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey! What is it? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, MC Bomber. Wow, he actually seems to be thinking for once. It's no good. I can't remember. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. Hey, pal, I'm gonna borrow this paper for a bit, okay? I'm gonna get a hand wagon ass that's done on this scribble. Hand wagon, huh? Let's know more about that in any case. Thanks, pal. I bet this will turn out to be an interesting clue. says Juniper. I'm under orders to put a few drops in my bath every day. Under orders. Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I mean, guy. Huh? You can't stop thinking about him? Not like that, pal! Give me a break, he's not my type! I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved in this case somehow. But he knows a little something more about our charming chef. What exactly is it that caught your uh, attention about the chef at Trespin? It's, uh, kind of hard to say. Nice nice bug not even connected with the case anyway. Hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you gave me the dough on anything? Well, it serves up this kind of important gossip stuff, you know, pal? Look, how about this? You go to Trespin and investigate the place yourself. And if you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you put it back to me, okay? I suppose I get a choice in this, huh? This is where we know more about the chef and trespass and then we'll pull back to go to. Now, 
what? I love why I come here. That mascot's there to greet me. That's that why. That's the blue badge on. My idea. I made it, and now it me a symbol of the police force. So it's the pink one. It's new, right? Yep, you meet the pink badge on. So one's called blue, and the other's called pink. But they're both called badge You got it! They're married! Next time I'm here, 